Charlie, I can't believe that after all these years, you're still single. Well, <laughs> it's not that hard to believe, really. I'm a selfish, promiscuous, commitment-phobic man. Alan, on the other hand, is a very generous, loyal, one-woman kind of guy. Guilty. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? Now, what is surprising is to hear a man be so honest and forthcoming about his flaws. <laughs> Charlie, you are a real breath of fresh air. Guilty. <laughs> But if you really want a breath of fresh air, take a lung full of Alan. <laughs> he is a true gentleman. Excuse me. I'll be right back. I think he wants to talk. You are such a good brother. You have no idea. <laughs> Forget that. What the hell are you doing? What? I'm trying to make you look good. Turns out it's not that easy. No, you look like you're trying to make me look good, but what you're doing is making you look good. I don't know how you're doing it, but that's the net result. Alan, you're being ridiculous. Oh, am I? I think not. From the minute we walked into the restaurant, you have been sabotaging me. How? How? Look at where I'm sitting. What? You wanted to sit next to her. Yeah, and you let me. <laughs> and now you get to stare into her eyes, and I get to stare into her ear. What do you want from me? You want to change seats? Oh, sure. That won't look suspicious. I'm just trying to help, Alan. Well, how about that? I do have to pee. You want to help me? Stop talking me up. It's killing me. Okay. And stop putting yourself down. Somehow that's killing me too. Got it. Just, just sit there and eat your dinner and I'll play your game. Fine. You want to shake on it? You're disgusting. Let me tell you something about my brother. He puts himself down, but he is truly a wonderful man. I mean, here's a guy, single, good-looking, talented. Well, I... Tut, tut, tut. You're too modest. <laughs> talented, a, a ton of money. And what does he do when his brother and nephew need a place to live? Does he complain about us cramping his style? No. He opens up his home and his heart. And frankly, I don't know which one is bigger. Incredible human being. Can we get the damn check, please? I can't wait to meet him. H how about tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow sounds great. Good, good. It's a date. So don't be late. Or we'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Here we are. Thank you so much. I had a wonderful time. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night. To the bat cave, Alfred. Go to hell. Come on, I was just sitting here. I didn't put a tongue in my mouth. You got tongue? Actually, looking back, it was probably mine. Don't bark at me. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And make yourself scarce tomorrow. I don't need any more of your help. Fine. You're on your own. Now hush up and drive Miss Daisy home.